chill for today. And I'm cooking. I am cooking because it's hot in this kitchen. I'm not going to say what I'm making yet because the, the director has no clue. Has no clue. So I want to be like surprise mode. But before I get started, I have to show you the sweetest, most beautiful, cutest, whatever you want to call it, card I got from my friend Nancy. Now you see how cool this is? She built it up. You see there? So she's got all kinds of layers so it looks like it's 3D which it is, and then on the inside, she left me a very nice note. I won't read it, but is that just too cute? She said, you know, kind of, she's on the aging side, the more mature side, like I am, and she thought I would enjoy that, and Nancy, I absolutely love it, so thank you so much for that great card. Very creative lady, and then she sent me all these fabulous envelopes that she makes with, I guess, paper, paper that you buy in like a stationery store, I'm not sure, but beautiful. Okay, here it comes. I am making bean and veggie loaf. Bean and veggie loaf. Yes, I am. How do you feel about that? I'll let you know after <laughs> I taste it. I have made one of these a couple of times, and they always turn out, you know, and he's very nice about it, and he eats them. So what I've done is taken a couple of the recipes that I have used and kind of dismantled them and kind of thought where I might have gone wrong or where I should have gone. So this is what we're going on. So, you know, the jury is out. So in my food processor, I have, which I have just lightly like sweated just to get the onions not quite so harsh, you know, kind of take, soften those up. I have celery and of course I'll have all the ingredients and instructions for you. Onions, celery, and carrots, okay? And I'm gonna put the lid on my, okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna pulse this, just pulse it, here we go. Just want to break it down just a little bit. Okay, now here we go, we're gonna try this again, all right, here we go. All right, so now I'm going to add some chickpeas. This is a can of chickpeas. That's where you go wrong. I know, see, I wasn't gonna tell you. Um, and, and they're drained and rinsed. And I'm gonna give this a little pulsing because we want those. Can you believe this? I just don't understand what I am doing wrong. All right, I see what I'm doing wrong now. Okay, we're gonna pulse those because we want a little texture, just a little texture, okay. And now I'm going to add black beans. Again, a can that's been drained and rinsed. I think we're going to do it that way. I swear. Is this too funny or what? I love the food processor, but I'll tell you what. This lid is a hassle. Okay. So we're going to just pull that again. I don't want those beans too broken up. All right. So now here comes the, the whole ball of wax. I've got... This is something I'm adding this time that I hadn't added before, was flaxseed. And I just, I, it was, uh, see, I didn't quite add as much water as you normally would to, like when you're making a flax, flax egg. So I've got that in there. I've got some garlic, pepper, uh, garlic, pepper, parsley, and some Italian seasonings. And you know, if you have a, a recipe, like a meatloaf recipe that you adore, and you have those spices that you really like, you can add those. A little tomato paste. Okay. Uh, okay, I've got some soy sauce. Some Worcestershire sauce. Some almond milk. And again, you could use any almond, any milk you want, you know. It doesn't have to be almond milk. And a little tiny bit of liquid smoke. Be kind of that smoky thing. All right, get that in there. And then here come the dry, dry ingredients. I've got a half a cup of, uh, these are old fashioned oats, and uh, some uh, breadcrumbs. Now, these are my own homemade ones. You could use panko, you could use, the, Trader Joe makes some great ones. So, you know, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna, See if I have any problems getting this darn lid on. I cannot. What am I doing wrong? You don't start to the right enough or left enough. All right. 
here we go. We're going to just pulse and pulse and until we get a nice amalgamated mess. Alright, let's scrape it down a little bit here. My, my biggest problem last time, it, it was too wet. So I'm hoping that the oats kind of dry that up a little bit. Yes, I think this looks real, real good. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, loaf pan. And my oven is set at 375. Yeah, see there? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And I'm going to get my loaf pan, and we will load that in the loaf pan, and then we're going to stick it in the oven and bake it. And I'll bake it for just a short time, and then I'm going to pull it out. And the director loves ketchup on his meatloaf. So I'm going to go ahead and, and spread it with ketchup. Now, if you had like a some sort of glaze that you love that you've used in the past, go for it. Anyway, we'll be back. Before I get to loading that, that loaf pan, the director has shown me the secret to my lid. And bring it on down here. See, he says, see, there's like a lip there. See there? He says, when you turn it and you get ready to put it back on, see that lip? Look it. Look it. Huh? Huh? Look at, that's the director for you. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're gonna get all this. This looks really good. Very um, meaty, uh, very flavorful. Even the director says he's looking forward to this. And it does look pretty good. Oh, I smell that um, liquid smoke in there. Mm. Just speaking of smoke, you need to uh, do your uh, bourbon Smoke I know it. Too. I'm going to do my carrot dip. That bourbon smoky uh, paprika, that and yes. Can't wait. All right. I'm going to go ahead like you would any meatloaf. Of course, I used to shape my meatloaf, but you can't do that with this kind of stuff. It smells good. It does smell good. Yeah, it's that you smoke. You got that smoke in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That smells really good. Okay, I'm just going to pack it down in there and hope for the best. It is, it is moist. I will say it's pretty moist. Well, I don't think you want it super dry because it will dry in the oven. Yeah, it, of course it will. Okay. So I'm going to give this... There we go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to give this 20 minutes, and then I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to add some ketchup on the top of it. Just your... I use, I think, the Trader... Not Trader Joe's, but I think I have the Whole, Whole Foods uh, 365. Give that a good smush on top and then stick it back in the oven for another 20, 30 minutes. And and then uh, we'll pull it out and we'll see how it looks. So and do we get tasted? Oh yeah, baby. Right. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we'll be back. It's out of the oven, part one out of the oven. Now I'm gonna put uh, some ketchup on there because that's what he wants. And I was right, it is the Whole Food brand, which is so good. We love this brand. It, first of all, it tends to be pretty reasonably priced, right? And it's organic? organic, yeah, and, and we just like the flavor of it. So let's get this spread out here. And you know, barbecue sauce would be good on top of this. Ooh, in fact, I said, do you want barbecue sauce instead of uh, ketchup? And he says, no. This is how his mama used to make it. Lots of ketchup on top. Yeah, come on out of there. Ah, not going to get any more out of it, I don't think. There we go. Just a little bit for that corner. Just a smidgen. Okay, this is going to go back in the oven and cook uh, about 20 minutes more so it gets all, you know, how it gets caramelly and tasty and it's going to be delicious. So when it comes out, we're going to let it rest for a few minutes and then he says, do we get to sample it? Yes, we get to sample it before lunch. So anyway, we'll be back. We're back and it's done and shh, let's hope. Come on down. Let's take a look at it. Mmm, 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 mmm. It smelled so good as it was baking, didn't it? It did. Yeah. And you see, I let that ketchup get nice and kind of, you know, how it gets. It's cutting very nicely. Now, at the bottom of this, I put a piece, oh, it's going to come out pretty good, too. I put a piece of uh, parchment paper. 
so it would hopefully come out uh, easy. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. And there's the paper down there. Hopefully it's not on the... Yeah, that came out pretty good. Look at that. I don't cut very even, but look at that. Looks like meatloaf. It does. Director, would you like to try this? Sure. Cool. I'll try anything. All right, come All right, on over. Shut it off. You ready? I'm ready. You can do it first. You do it first. It did smell so good as it was baking. Now, you know, I want you to be honest, but remember what it is, right? It's, it, it's, it's, remember what it is. Okay, here we go. It's got a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's a little mushy. It's a little moist. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. But it is a little mushy, but it tastes very good. Mm, delicious. I think what I might do, if this is it, you know, when you do a, a recipe that, you, you know, that you're trying to fix and all that, you find, again, well, it must not be too bad. You find, again, things you say, okay, okay. This, I believe, needs more breadcrumbs and oatmeal. I would agree with Just that. Soak it up a little bit. But the flavors are very good. Flavors are I very don't good. think that I would do anything with no, the flavor. No, I, like I like. I actually like the uh, ketchup flavor, and mm -hmm. I like the smokiness in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is put the recipe that I've made today, but in parentheses there at the breadcrumbs and the oatmeal. I might show you what I would boost it up to next time I made it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Everything I had here in this today, I had in my own pantry. I had the beans, I had the breadcrumbs, I had the, um, what was the other thing, uh, oatmeal, I had all those seasonings. They're just kind of staples mm -hmm. that you have in your house. So I don't think you're going to have to run out and buy a hundred ingredients. No. It's, it's very, very easy to make. And it's good. We're going to have it for lunch. We are. I made a mashed potatoes and peas. He loves that. Okay, are we done? I yes. think we're done. We want to eat. All right, everybody. Uh -huh. Thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave comments. I hope you enjoy the recipe. And that's it. We'll see you all later. Okay.